Hi everyone, it's Rhonda and tonight I wanted to do a quick video on my designs. It's been a while since I've done one and they've added some new features since my last video. So I just wanted to go over uh, the couple new features they've added that I think are absolutely amazing. And if you are a My Designs user, you are going to absolutely love them. Okay. The first one is here inside Dream AI. And Dream AI, if you're not a My Designs user, is a AI generation uh, spot or a hub where we have several different uh, AI generators in here. There's Dolly, Stable Diffusion, Ideogram, Flux, Recraft, Imagine. So there's a lot of different uh, models that you can use in here that you can generate images right from my designs without ever having to leave and go to another generator if you don't want to. All right, so the first feature, like I said, is right inside here. And let's say um, I had an image, and I'm just gonna use this one as an example. I created this image, let's say months and months and months ago, and I saved the image, but I forgot to save the prompt for it. So, and I know I wanna create more of them now, but I'm like, I don't know how to, I, I can't remember how to word the prompt to get this image. So all I would do is grab that image, bring it over here and paste it right in to my prompt box in Dream AI. And I do, and my designs is going to give me a prompt. So I know that, you know, I made this, uh, strawberry cake slice and I wanted to redo it because I wanted to turn it into um, blueberry cake. So I am going to just put vibrant. I'm going to swap out those words, slice of cake, meticulously layered, white frosting, vibrant blueberry on the very top. And we'll look through here and make sure that we replace any instances of strawberry with blueberry. And we will eliminate the seeds clearly visible because we don't want that with a blueberry. But that's all we have to do. So we forgot, you know, we forgot the prompt that we used. It's no big deal. We're going to come in here now and I'm going to grab ideogram and I'm just going to hit dream and it will create a new image. I'm also going to go over here and paste this into mid journey. So you can see I'm not restricted to using this prompt in my designs. I can use that new prompt that it's made for me anywhere I want. I'm doing it in mid-journey. I could do it in uh, Recraft, Ideogram, Kittle, anywhere I feel like it. And here it generated a slice of cake with blueberries on the top. And the same thing over here. So it's really a nice feature when you, like I said, when you have a image that you may have forgotten what prompt you used to create it, that you can just drag it in here. I'll do another one real quick. I'm just going to drop that. Oops, I didn't drop it quite in the right spot. Let me grab that folder again. And try once more. There we go, dropped it in there and it gave me the prompt for it. And I'm gonna use Dolly and we will hit dream. Uh-oh, that failed for some reason. Let's grab that. Dolly's been acting funny lately. So I am going to go with, let's go down here to imagine and run that prompt. And then I will also run it over here in mid journey. But you see, it comes up with very similar images to what we gave it. Let me bring this up. Let's open this. And there's our original image. 
and then this is the one that it produced. Now, again, this is in Imagine. I believe when I first created that image, it was done in Dolly. So it's gonna look a little bit different. Let's run it in Flux, but it's still a very similar style of image. So the Describe feature is a really, really handy feature to have here inside my designs. If you're already in here working on bulk editing and things like that, it's really a nice feature to be able to just drag an image in and get the prompt for it. All right. Now the next new feature they have is their dream gallery. This is a new feature where um, you'll come and you can find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and if not thousands of images and ideas that have been generated by users inside my designs and have elected to make their designs and stuff public so other people can use them for inspiration and use the prompts and things like that. So if you are ever stuck one day for a prompt or a design style, you're just not sure what you want, you can hop over here to my designs dream gallery and just look around and find something that calls to you, something that just says, yes, that's what I want to make today. And when you find an image that you really like, let's look at this one. This is very pretty. And this would make a lovely uh, tumbler wrap, a cutting board design, a wind spinner design even. And then over here on the right, you can see the exact prompt that was used and also the AI model that was used to create it. So if you wanted to create something extremely similar, you could just copy that, come in here to Dream AI, paste it in, and did that say Flux? Yes, it did, and run that, because I am using the Flux model right now. And you can run that prompt and come up with a very similar design, or you can easily edit this. We could edit this to have it say, instead of soft pinks, let's do, let me get in here, sparkling golds and deep blacks and run it like that. So it, you know, it can just be inspiration. You don't have to use the prompts exactly as they are. You can definitely alter them for your style or you know, what you want to create. So that came out beautiful in the golds. So just browse around um, my designs dream gallery and get some ideas. And, you know, th there's an endless fountain of information in here. Just there's so many different things. You could get ideas for holidays. You could uh, here's some fun, like retro nineties kind of designs. Um, then you have your black and white, your line drawings. There's just something for everyone in here. You are bound to find a prompt or a design style that you really like that you can modify things and make them your own. Uh, the retro look is all over the place right now. Uh, these, uh, brushstroke designs. So I just wanted to show you that, that my designs is so much more than just a place to bulk edit your designs that you've already created. It's also a place where you can create designs. You can, uh, you know, upload images that you've created in the past and you can't remember what the prompt was for them. Or if you found an image online that you really, really liked, uh, you could drag that in and get a prompt for it. And then also the dream gallery that's just full of amazing ideas and designs and prompts that you can use to create beautiful designs for your business, whether you're selling digital products, POD products, um, or even, you know, end user products that you're creating the shirts or creating the end products and shipping them out. You can still get some great ideas in here for designs for different things. So that's all I wanted to show you guys tonight. I do have some really in-depth My Design videos coming out. Um, those will be um, exclusive for my uh, Prompts, Profits, and Sales Club. Um, so if you're not a member of that and you really want to learn about My Designs, you might want to consider uh, taking a look at the club. 
and seeing if it's something you'd be interested in joining because we're going to have a uh, very, very in-depth series of My Designs videos coming well, within the next several days. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next time.